Amen. Tell your neighbor, your neighbor, that I'm going to the next level. Amen. I am changing gears. My prayer life is going to the next level. My miracle is going to the next level. My breakthrough is going to the next level. Say as you mean it in the name of Jesus. You know, there's ways that is least in the spiritual atmosphere. Sometimes it destroys our life. Sometimes our fathers or our mothers or somebody in authority ignore it, say a word. And the word changed our life. Tonight we are going to pray that any evil words that be released in the atmosphere going around trying to destroy your life shall be cast out in the name of Jesus. Because there are many times our parents or people say well, or we ourselves will make some pronouncement and expect our life. It affects our destiny. That sometimes we don't know. But tonight, the presence of God is very, very important. The power of the Holy Spirit is in you. That every incubator that has incubated in the way, turning it to an end, for it to be a, a living thing to destroy your life, that end shall be broken in Jesus' name. Eat 
if you don't refuse him and the form, he becomes a weapon. And weapons are destruction. It will destroy you. It can affect your marriage. It can affect your finances. It can affect even your ministry. I've seen many pastors who are very anointed but limited. Very anointed. But they have nothing to show. They have nothing to post about that anointing they carry. Why? Because a weapon has formed against them. And they affect even their ministry. I know a man of God that in church cannot grow over 20 people. Anytime the church is 21 people, there must be a break. Why? A weapon has fallen. Let's read our Bible, open our Bible to Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49, verse number 1. Yeah. 
The reason why any child was born and their hands are closed like this, they are telling the world, they are declaring to the world, I came with something special. The reason why every child born is crying, he announcing his presence. We were thinking he's crying. Have you ever seen a baby crying with tears coming? No, they are not crying. They are speaking the language that they speak in heaven. They are now simply our present on earth. They say, I come with something. I came with potential. I came with dignity. I came with mighty power. I came with excellence. That's the announcement. Because they cannot talk. The only way they can announce their present on this way is to make it that thing that we call cry. And somebody is crying. You see tears. If the children cry and not tears, it's me they are not crying. I don't know the mothers have you ever seen one of them cry with tears? Me and I, I've been there how many times, two times. And got one with they are not allowed. We are not allowed. <laughs> Go one room, 50 women are giving birth the same time. So <laughs> they forbid a man to be there. But here, I've been seen twice. But no child cry. The tears. So it was not just a cry, it was an announcement that a mighty king had been born. A mighty warrior had been born. A came of a potential. A CEO had been born. A doctor had been born. A nurse. A somebody special have come on this way. So they announce their presence when their hands are closed. I came with a solution. I came to solve problems. I came with something tangible. Church, that's how you were. You were born with a special ability. You are a problem solver. You are born to solve problems. Because God, reason why you are born is to add something unique unto this world. Without you, this world is not complete. If you believe something now. Amen. Reuben was born with four mighty, excellent qualities. Verse 4 said, But you are unstable like water, and you shall not ascend. You'll be unstable. You'll be useless. Mr. 
have Jesus power and people were looking at me down. An illiterate guy who don't speak English, who, 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 who no, that have not been to any Bible school. And they were laughing at me. I look at them and say, no, you are making a joke. But your joke will turn into my testimony. Amen. Why? Because I know who I am. That's why this song I'm loving. I know who I am. Amen. Amen. You must understand who you are. So, if you don't know who you are, no prayer can make you who you are. No prophecy can tell who you are. Because you yourself, you are communicating to heaven. And heaven will tell you who you are. You are born special. You are mighty man. You are mighty man of valor. Amen, amen, amen. Papa Chibudu was telling that when Gideon received a prophetic message from the angel of the Lord as a mighty man of valor, he said, please forgive me. You don't know what you are talking to. Because Gideon don't know who he is. And I want you to understand that from tonight, understand who you are. When the Lord called, it is surprise. I was telling Prophet Prophet to do that. It, when God called me and my wife, it, you know, it's surprise. The way God connected us to be married. The one who finished school Sunday night and the one who finished 12 midnight. <laughs> Isa and Kalama. I can call you, sir. But when we get married and the Lord calling into ministry, we understand who we are. Our limitation is nothing. Because our limitation is a platform for God to show His glory, to demonstrate His power, for people to know that the, 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 the battle is not for the strong, the race is not for the sins, the breakthrough is not for the wisdom people. But chance and time happen to them all. To them that know who they are. Shout I know who I am. You don't let anybody tell you who you are. I've told you many times when we went to our pastor, we have been serving faithful in three years in Houston that God has called us to ministry. We are going to Colombo to start a church. The man looked at us and he was laughing. And the wife looked at me and said, Miss Man. Do you know that you are illiterate? Say yes, mama. At that time, I don't even understand the word illiterate much, you know. I say, I say, but you can't start it. In America, you don't have what it takes to pass a church, to start a church. We left the office. This man even doesn't pray for us. He didn't even send us for He didn't even announce in the church. When we left, I thank God. When you are married to a wise woman, married to a noted woman, woman who understands how God spoke, he looked at me and said, Don't worry, because God understands you. Ay, 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 ay. God understands you. Forget about their English. They have been speaking big, big English. But look at their church. They are going nowhere. God understands you. Let me tell you, God understands your situation. God understands your limitation. Your limitation is a platform. Your limitation is something God, God want to use to show the whole world that I am the Lord. I do the foolish things of this world to come from the world. Shout yes, yes, yes. God is not a man. God is not a man. God don't eat a mother. God don't eat fufu. God don't look and eat a No. God don't eat fufu. No chicken soup there. <laughs> this God is a marvelous God. Yes. Yes. When we came here in two years ago, but I rebuilt glory, we built a small central. I brought the pastor to come and see what God can use foolish things of this world. Church, I want you to understand.
right. Ruben the oldest. Numbers are always a list. If Judah have been 100,000, Ruben will have maybe 5,000. Why? The way have been a list. He said, Ruben, you are born as a mighty. That's the destiny of Ruben. A mighty man of valor. Mighty men are born. Mighty, mighty men and women are risk takers. Mighty men and women are people who do this where you blow the mind of people. That's how you were born to be. You know, mighty men dream big. Their dreams are bigger than them. When we want to build the Lord's temple, people were shocked. When I called the architects, and they said, Pastor, please tell us your dream. I said, I need 1,500 sanctuary. I need this, I need that, I need that. They said, you need almost $4 million. I said, that's all. <laughs> and the one who got me, the white man with the big nose, looked at me and said, why? It's too special. I told you I'm going to say $10 million. Because the mighty man in me is afraid, is not afraid of numbers. The mighty man in you is not afraid about numbers. When they talk about millions, it's nothing. Because mighty men and mighty women see beyond that track. Their eyes is not their normal eyes. Their visions are beyond normal vision. They look beyond human ability because they know that what we have called them is able to do a city, a path, a path what people can imagine. You know, you must to see the bigger of your God. The Bible said, with God, all things are what in the gospel. Could you believe that we build this building, we break the grounds on April, and we have church here in December? Yep. How many months? Eight months. Eight months. Whether it was cold in the building or what, we have service. Yeah. Those who were here, you remember yeah. the December 31st night. There was no carpet. Yeah. There was no heater. There is about 10 degrees zero. It was cold, but we have service. Yeah. How can God use 10 months, eight months, to build such a magnificent building? Why? Because mighty men and mighty women of God put their brains together and they trust this God in a time of recession. When churches were closing, when people are moving, we check the heaven bank. And churches, heaven bank have no recession. Heaven bank, people don't move out. People were telling about the businessman because you're illiterate, that's why you can't take us a yes. He said, Our income is six. Our market to be 25,000. Hey, one plus one is two. I said, I thank God that I didn't go to school. In the early school, I went to heaven university. Where I graduated, one plus one is one. But when you went to school, one plus one is two. Amen. Amen. It is good to go to heaven school. Sometimes I thank God that I didn't teach. Amen. I read the Bible and I take as it is. <laughs> I don't need any Greek. Greek. I don't need any Hebrew. Hallelujah, Shabbat. I want you to think as a mighty man, mighty woman, come God of something unique in your life. See beyond natural, dream beyond natural. Because if you dream that a dream, you are bigger than that dream, it's not from God. Number two, he said you'll be excellent in dignity. Excellent in dignity. Because God has made us his own image. And you need to sit among the great people. Sit among down with great people. Sometimes when I look where God has placed me, some area that God let me sit down and eat with some people, I ask myself, how can a village boy come to such a level? How come? Somebody who speaks English like a house are right Because the Lord has placed a sinner in my life. And he has made the sin a sinner in your life. You are not just an ordinary. There's mighty warrior. There's an excellent indignity in you. Don't see yourself as a mediocre. You're not mediocre. 
because the word had been released for him not to accept, for him to be unstable, his life became a mess. Reuben died and gone almost 500 years ago. The Lord raised a prophet. It took a prophet to curse and it would take a prophet to reverse. That's why this conference is for. That's why we bring prophets, we bring fathers, we bring anointed men of God to reverse anything the enemy has spoken against your life. This conference is meant for a turnaround conference. The destiny I want to be changed. Prophet Jacob released the word. And Prophet Moses saw that he needed to reverse. Let's open up our teaching. Deuteronomy 33. Deuteronomy 33, verse 5. Deuteronomy 33, verse 5. Let's see what Prophet Moses said. Chasing David, and there was a one David who died so that we will have peace. 
eyes. People are looking you to be dead. People are looking for you to be destroyed. They wish you that your family, your business is not prosper. They wish that your children will not succeed. Their purpose is to see you suffer. But today, I am a great prophet, standing a great order, prophesying to you that you will not die. You will not die. You shall live. You will live to declare the glory of the Lord. Shout yes. yes. You will not die. They wish you dead. They wish you don't succeed. They wish you never have a job. If Hannah knew, he's going to give a breath to a prophet. Ha! You will not cry no more. They wish you're not going to get baby. But there's a prophet, a prophetess in your womb. I know one day they will come. If they know that you travel, you make it. They will not laugh at you. The same place they gossip about you is the same place that you're going to have your wedding. They ask you, when are you going to marry? Tell them where. Very soon, you will be my wedding up a key. You will be the man. And the man, not the good one. No. The one that will do all the yamanyama job. Just sometimes, the wish that people wish that you couldn't believe in. They laugh to you. But inside of them, that's why anytime you wake up in the morning, yes. condemn every tongue. Because you don't know how many tongues that speak evil against you. Yes. I never wake up. Even if I cannot pray, I make sure that anybody who wish me dead, the same person running together, shake together, yes. keep it back to the center. Yes. <laughs> Anytime you mention that potential, you think only blessing. Only for no, <laughs> whoever wish you dead, the same person yes. running together. Shake it together. Give it. Amen. So if you want me to die, you die three times. Amen. Don't bury you three times. Amen. Hallelujah, son. Rupi. In time. But though the time the man of God invented the prophecy was about 500 years. But he reversed that. It destroyed the waste that formed against the Rubinites. And they beginning to see prosperity. They beginning to see good things. Because the word from the prophet is always done. That's what the Bible said. Believe in God, trust in God. And you shall, you shall, you shall succeed. But believe in your prophet and you shall prosper. Because you know, you know, the pastor's thinking. 
at me. Papa teacher, the mother. It's about the altar that we are service. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. The power of the, of the ways. Proverbs 18, 21. Quickly. You are going to pray soon. Yeah. 
I was exist. I was not living. One of the night, an angel appeared me in a dream. Show me where and why I'm going through what I'm going through. Check tonight. We have power in your mouth. There's authority going to give it to you. The Bible says in the book of John, he said, whatever you declare or you decree shall be established. You must make a declaration tonight. There must be an establishment of dignity in your life. The whole world must understand that your mother will not joke with your life. Christians are so subtle. We know sometimes 2 a.m. Muslims are still praying. Christians, we must be warfare mentality. That's what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 that our wrestling is not against flesh and blood. With power and prayer, I purpose in my life that I can't continue like this. I can't continue in debt. I can't continue in want. I can't continue. I was wearing one clothes that I can smell myself. In Canada, this heat, I'm wearing American jeans jacket. That's the only clothes I have. One day I cry. Watch, make me cry and I decide to check my... Then one day I came from town and Mama Linda had gone to the bed down boutique. You know bed down boutique? First line, second hand shop and bought me some t-shirts. In fact, I cry. And I bugger somebody was living abroad. Now, I'm wearing bent down with you. Because she saw that my clothes, I've washed that jeans, that the blue jeans are turned into white jeans. So I need to do something about it. I can't continue like this. We need to wait 8 p.m. before we can go and be in the queue to buy 10k. No meat. And the chef put that the lady will ask, what, how much meat you want? The fish. And I act like I didn't hear. Later I became a very good friend with that lady. So when they fry the fried fish, you know, they broke his first one there and said, can you add a little bit to my okra? Because of poverty, I become friends with the 10k seller. Church, I can't continue like this. I don't know your situation, but you can't continue like this. The situation is so desperate that you need an instant change. Tonight, I don't know what has made you feel so useless, but the power of God is in your mouth. Make a declaration and it's going to be established. The Bible said, those who are seeking with him with seriousness, God is going to reward them. Before I know, change happened. Miracle. Within one week, a poor boy, I received over five thousand dollars. After that wait, after that prayer, something happened. Before I know, on my way to Israel, I arrived in Israel without costing me few money. Just, I wanted to understand that this God is over ready. Listen to our prayers if we will seek for him with seriousness. Because all that you have shown and, 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 and sacrifice, and the altar is ready to do something.
Ah. Let me, you are reading from verse 17. Please, from 17, because of our time. Because of our time. And he came to pray after they departed. They came out. Uh -uh. I said, second seven, one, 17. Timo, Timo, you are controlling the book. Let the 
priest on it. Only one man thing. The Israelites before the architectural knowledge in farming have planned all kinds of seed. They have fertilized them, but it never happened. And this weed, no tree can grow on my tiki boy. Why? The prophet released the way. Let's see. He said, No friend that you have offering or grain for the shine of the mighty one defined. The shine of some no longer rub with fire. In other words, you cannot die when you are not dead. So David was said, My brother, why did you die? Let somebody who has not been anointed. The anointing of you is not to speak in tongues alone. But Christians, take that anointing only as tongue speaking. You become tongue speaking people. Can't do it. Even what's it? Not because of any 
always call with her. Not because of anything that I can say. Because of ignorance. The power of God is in your mouth. Abina, why are you talking like a fool? Why? People are working on you and you stress you. You see, when people feel that you are a Christian but you have nothing to show. No, our Christianity, we are a miracle by myself. We are signs of one death. That's what the Bible says. We are signs of what in the book of Isaiah. Baby, verse 1, verse 2, verse 1. He said, we are signs and wonders. We are signs and wonders. What is signs and wonders? I see. Even the signs and wonders. The Bible says, we Christians, we are signs and wonders. 